can step outside and seize the day now. So many of our viewers have asked to see some of the new homes in our area. That's right. So today we're going to take you around the Merle's Inlet area and show you some of the new construction that's going on. We're going to touch upon Merle's Inlet, but also the southern part of Myrtle Beach and even show you a, a site over in Surfside Beach. Hey, make sure you watch to the end. We're going to show you the best development in Merle's Inlet. So you're ready to hit the road? I'm ready. All right, let's go. And today we're taking the spider. Construction ahead. We jumped in the spider and headed south on 707. Our first stop is going to be a D.R. Horton development called Van's Landing. It's located on the end of Old Merle's Inlet Road. This is a smaller development with two main streets, but the homes you see are a good example of the types of homes being built here in Myrtle Beach and Merle's Inlet. Now most of the homes seem to have been completed, with just a few that are still under construction. So if you want one, you better act fast. So it looks like there's not much left at that development, so let's go check another one out. Um, all these developments are within probably five to eight miles from each other. So uh, we're gonna go check out the next one right now. We're now on the McDowell Shortcut, and it's here that you'll find Wren Bay, a Toll Brothers community. As you can see, these homes have a similar design to the last development. And there are many currently under construction. But the good news is that there are still lots available. And they have an amenity center with a pool. All right, so not much left here either. A couple lots still open. So we're gonna move on to the next new construction project. Let's go. You better come down soon. They're selling like hotcakes. The next development is Island Green, a DR Horton community located off of Bay Road. Now this community is located right over the border in the southern edge of Myrtle Beach. These homes are less expensive than the ones we just saw, starting at 295. Now, we didn't like the look of these homes as much as the ones we had just seen, but they are in a lower price point. So, this is not a very pretty development, and what I've noticed so far is everyone we've been to so far, there's no sales office, uh, no models. I think because they sold so fast, uh, they don't have to have a sales office or a model to look at. So we'll go on to the next one. Here we go. So we headed to another D.R. Horton community, The Lakes, which is also located right over the border in Myrtle Beach. Now you have to drive to the back of the community to find the new construction. Now this is a nice looking community and it looks like they have a pool and there's lots of building activity going on. But again, we couldn't find a sales office. For most of these communities, it seems you have to contact the sales rep online and then you can arrange for a tour of the homes. I'll put a link below for the website of each of the communities that we see today. 
Now next up is Belmar, a Beezer home development. This community is located just north of Merle's Inlet in Surfside Beach and is situated in a more busy section of town right off of Bypass 17. And the good news is that they do have models here. Let's take a look. Well, we finally found some models, but they're closed. Aww. So it looks like that for uh, these models, you have to call and make an appointment. They're not open um, on a regular basis. So, uh, but this is a very nice development. We're gonna keep looking. This development had some really nice looking homes from the outside. And some are being built with a third garage for a golf cart. They also have a nice amenity center with a pool. Now let's move on to the next development. We're now on Big Block Road, heading to a Beezer home community called the Shores of Surfside. This development is located just north of Merle's Inlet in Myrtle Beach. This development appears to have nice size homes and it has an amenity center with a pool. From what we could tell, there are still lots available, but check out all the new homes being built all at the same time. This shows you how high the demand is for new homes down here. So as you saw, a lot of those developments were pretty much built out with only a few spots left. So we've saved the best for last. We're heading down to a Toll Brothers community in Prince Creek uh, in Merle's Inlet where there are plenty of lots left and uh, we're going to be there in a couple minutes. We're heading south on 707 towards the Prince Creek community of Merle's Inlet. Merle's Inlet is a fast-growing town, as evident by the new construction all around us. The entrance to Prince Creek is right off of 707. Let's head on in and check it out. Prince Creek is a collection of neighborhoods that have been built over the last 20 years. It's also home to the TPC Golf Course of Myrtle Beach and home to Dustin Johnson's Golf School, both of which are coming up on the left-hand side. Now two miles in from the main gate and near the back of Prince Creek, that's where you'll find the Toll Brothers new home construction, known as Longwood Bluff. Let's go check it out. Longwood Bluff offers several styles of homes to choose from. And they even have models that are open, I believe, by appointment. And here's the really good news. Although several homes have been completed, as you can see here, there is still a large track of land with available home sites.
What's more, this development will have access to the Prince Creek West Community Center, which has two pools, tennis courts, pickleball courts, and so much more. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. Until next time, safe travels. Thank you.